element. Seth and ICSB um, for organizing this. My name is Garrett Danzig. Um, I'm a faculty member from the Eastern, Con Eastern Connecticut State University. And today I wanna talk about a previously published tool uh, called Shiny Geo, which is an R Shiny web application for analyzing gene expression data uh, from Geo, which is the gene expression omnibus. Uh, oh, people are probably familiar with Geo, but for those that are not, um, it's a public repository of gene expression data. Um, the focus for Shiny Geo is going to be on microarray data uh, or data that's obtained through expression profiling by array. And uh, what we can see here is just the huge number of data sets that are available. Uh, over 62,000 microarray data sets are on Geo. And the goal of Shiny Geo is really just to make this data more accessible to researchers who don't necessarily have a programming bioinformatics background. I do want to mention that uh, Geo itself has a tool called Geo2R, um, which allows for some analyses. And namely, what Geo2R does um, is it allows the identification of differentially expressed genes. The way that this works is a user selects the data set. Um, the user defines the groups um, that they want to compare. Uh, and then the user selects the samples and assigns them to those groups. What Geo2R does um, is it uses the lemma package to then identify the top differentially expressed probes, um, which is what you see here. And if you click on um, any of these probes, you get this sort of basic dualization showing the expression level of uh, each of the samples, which are then color-coded based on the group, which is normal versus tumor. The goal of Shiny Geo is, is similar. Uh, which is to geodata more accessible, um, but it has some features that distinguish it from Geo2R. Namely, Shiny Geo is gene-centric. So the idea is if a researcher is interested in a specific gene, they start by selecting their gene, and then they can form a differential expression analysis on that specific gene. Um, they can also perform a survival analysis or the generation of Kaplan-Meier curves. Uh, in addition, Shiny Geo was designed for easy sample and group selection. Uh, it allows some customization to the graphics, and it also will generate the R code uh, that's used for the analysis uh, so that the analysis can be reproduced. I'm going to switch over uh, to the tool itself and give a very brief demo of how this works. Um, what I'm going to do is use this tool to analyze a bladder cancer gene expression data set, uh, which is uh, has the ID GSE 13507. Uh, because it takes a, a little bit of time to download the data, I've already done that. And so we're, what we're looking at is the home page after that data has been downloaded. Um, the first thing we can do is click View Expression Profiles. This uh, generates box plots uh, that show the distribution of expression across each sample. And so this allows us to confirm whether the data has been uh, processed correctly and, and normalized correctly. And it, in this case, it has, so we can compare uh, expression from one sample to another. For the differential expression analysis, we select the gene that we're interested in. Um, I'm going to focus on HRAS. Uh, HRAS is a proto-oncogene that's frequently mutated in bladder and other cancers. Okay, so I've selected that gene. Next, need to select the column. Uh, that contains the group information uh, that I want to compare. In this case, it's the source name column. This column actually has more groups than what I would be interested in, so I'm going to remove some of these. And as you see, the, the graph is going to update dynamically as I'm uh, adding or removing groups. And so now we have um, expression uh, across the normal samples and the bladder cancer samples. And from the analysis, we can see that HRAS is upregulated in bladder cancer samples. The full change is 1.62, and the p-value is less than 0 0.001. For both the differential expression and survival analyses, we have options to format the graph. Uh, in this case, I can change the labels as well as the colors. Um, we can also export the graph data. In this case, that's going to give us the expression values as well as the group labels. Um, which would allow someone to generate their own graphs uh, or do additional analyses on that data. 
And I can also click Save R Code um, to generate the R code that was used to produce this graph. Um, I'm next going to do a survival analysis. But before I do that, um, what I'm going to want to do is look at just the patients with muscle invasive tumors. So that's my, um, my research question is whether HRAS is predictive of survival in bladder cancer patients with muscle invasive tumors. And so I want to do a patient selection or sample selection, which is straightforward to do. So I click sample selection. I select the column containing the, uh, the information that I want to select on, and that's this invasiveness column. And I'm going to select muscle invasive. But when I apply the selection criteria, that's going to keep just those patients uh, that have muscle invasive tumors. And so now I'm down to 62 samples. When I do that, the previous graph is going to up because now we don't have any normal samples. So it's just showing us the bladder cancer samples. I then go to survival analysis, uh, select the gene, which is already selected. I then need to select the time and outcome uh, columns that have um, the time to event information as well as the event information. Shiny Geo will try to auto detect the columns and identify the columns that contain the relevant information. Um, and in this case, it does that correctly. Um, this specific column 1.8 contains the event. Um, the yes event is death in this case. The non-event is survival. And then the time column uh, is also detected correctly uh, and is also formatted to just be converted to a numeric value. When I'm happy with that, I can click generate KM plot and that will generate the Kaplan-Meier curve. And we see from this uh, result that high HRAS expression is associated with poor outcome in bladder cancer patients in this data set. Uh, high expression is relative to the median, so we're looking at upper 50% versus lower 50%. The hazard ratio is 3.07, and then the p-value is statistically significant. And I can format the graph. I can export this graph data. I could also save the R code, which I'm going to click on. And if we want to look at the R code, we can go to the code uh, panel. Uh, and we see the R code that was used to uh, both download data, process the data, Okay, so that's a, a brief generation, a brief demonstration, um, very brief background on the tool itself in terms of the methods used to develop the tool. It was developed using R and Shiny. <laughs> Shiny is a is a um, framework for developing interactive web pages in R. The tool itself is available uh, on a hosted website, so users don't need to download anything. They just go to the web page. Um, but the tool is also available as a Docker image. And the source code is available on GitHub. Um, finally, if you are interested in this, I encourage you to, to look at the previously published manuscript, which was published in Bioinformatics a few years ago. I want to acknowledge uh, two co-authors on the manuscript, Jasmine Dumas, as well as Michael Gargano, also Natalia Romanenko, um, who is an undergraduate student that made important contributions to this tool. The link to the tool is, is given here. Uh, that link will take you to the source code. It will uh, uh, give you instructions in, on how to uh, run the tool from Docker, uh, as well as link to the tool itself if you want to run it from the web page. And my contact information is, is here. I do hope people are interested in either using the tool and also contributing to the tool. So if there's interest in that, um, feel free to fork the code on GitHub and make some contributions. Thank you, everyone, and I'm happy to take any questions.